Hello, my name is Raymond Hardy, and today I'd like to talk to you about this RC low pass filter. And in sp specifically, we're going to talk about the zero state response of this circuit. So, in order to do that, one of the first things we need to do is we need to write a KVL equation for this circuit. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? So, we have E equals R i plus v0 and the uh, v0 is the voltage across the capacitor and the i is the current through the resistor times um, times that resistor for the uh, voltage now we can't do a whole lot with this right now so we're going to have to do some uh, modifications and one thing that we know about the current through your capacitor is that the current is equal to c dv0 divided by dt. And we can use that uh, idea and uh, use it to replace the current that's in the KVL uh, equation and uh, give us a different uh, look there. So why don't we go ahead and do that. We have E equals equals R C dv dv0 divided by dt plus v0 okay so we're moving along here so now what I like to do is I'd like to go ahead and move this e term that's on the left and put it on the right side of this equation and uh, then I plan on dividing uh, the equation uh, by rc all the way through so that I can normalize and use the standard form for a uh, first order differential equation. So why don't we go ahead and do that. So that would give me dv0 dt plus v0 divided by rc equals e divided by rc. Now this term, this E divided by RC, that's called the uh, forcing function, uh, forcing function term. And uh, what I want to do, uh, and the forcing function is, is like, is, uh, provides the force in which to drive the circuit. So um, if you think about it, if we, uh, for the zero state response, the circuit is, uh, for the most part a dead circuit. In other, in other words, the capacitor has no voltage. And so when uh, the E divided by RC term, the forcing function is like plugging in the circuit into providing the stimulus to drive the circuit. So with that in mind, uh, which is, and by the way, this is different from the zero uh, input response where you're using an initial condition to drive the circuit. This the, the initial condition for this circuit, uh, for this capacitor is zero. So since it's zero, we need the forcing function to provide the stimulus to drive the circuit. So with that in mind, I need to introduce uh, something else called the integrating factor. And the integrating factor will be the uh, dependent function, dependent uh, function of this term here, this uh, this middle term. And so uh, the integrating factor, um, well, first, by definition, let me give you what the definition looks like. It's uh, uh, mu, that's what I'm trying to think of, I'm sitting here trying to think, is mu of t equals e to the integral of a of t dt. Okay, so the integrating factor in this case, we're going to say that um, mu of t is equal to e to 1 over rc dt. Use the integral of that. So that 1 over rc is our integrating factor term. And so we need to go ahead and finish out this equation here. So this would equal us, this would give us E to the T RC. 
right? The dt will just integrate into t, and we'll multiply the t times the 1, and that's how we get e to the t over rc. So that's our integrating factor, e to the t divided by rc. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this integrating factor, and we're going to multiply it times uh, all of these terms right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So that gives me e to the t r c times d v zero divided by d t plus e to the t r c again times v zero divided by r c equals e to the t r c times e divided by r c. Okay, so now um, I need to give myself some space here, so let me do that first. Let's say I won't, uh, I don't think I'll need this over here. So let me get rid of that. I won't need uh, this up here anymore. So let's get rid of that. Um, let's see. I won't need the integrating factors in the middle anymore. So let's get rid of that. And why don't I take this and uh, I'm going to move this up here, I think. And uh, this right here, uh, can I move it up here also? I think I have enough room right there. Okay. So, if you take a look now at, um, well, let me do one other thing here. Okay, so I'm going to state that we have this e to the t r c v zero, the dependent variable, dependent. Uh, voltage equals E to the T R C E over R C. If you take a look at uh, this term here in the brackets, if you do the uh, uh, multiplying, um, uh, if you're doing a, uh, uh, what am I trying to think of, I'm almost losing my train of thought here. This is the same as the multiply, the same as multiplying uh, two terms together, and this term over here, uh, or up here actually, uh, no, down here, I'm sorry, this middle term is representative of doing the uh, multiplying fact doing the multiplying of these two terms right here so let's take a look at that so we have this e divided by rc term if that's the first times derivative and that's what i was trying to think of the derivative is the first times the derivative of v0 which is dv0 dt so it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the uh derivative of the first, which is e to the u, du, so that would be e to the t r, r divided by rc, and the derivative of that would be 1 over rc times uh, the second, which is v0. So that we can work with. And so if we go ahead and say that this was a, put our derivative here. And if I were to put, I could put d 
divided by dt here. But on second thought, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this term here and I'm going to place the dt over here. Hopefully that's showing up on the video there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now integrate both sides of this equation. I'm going to integrate here, and I'm going to integrate over here. Okay, and what that gives me is that this integral will cancel out that differential term. And so that will just leave me with e to the t divided by rc v0 equals e to the t rc divided by e well e divided by rc plus a constant k okay so now I want to divide both sides of this equation by e to the t divided by rc, e to the t divided by rc. And what that's going to do, that's going to cancel out this here with this. And this is going to cancel out this here with this and this k term will become well this will equal v zero will equal e to the rc plus k e to the minus t r c. Okay? So now I need to give myself some more space once again. And let me get rid of um, I won't need this. I don't think I'll need this. I won't need this. Cut that out. I won't need this. I won't need this. And I won't need this anymore. I do need this. And I won't need this. Okay, so V equals E to the RC plus K E to the minus T RC. So if we know that V of zero at zero equals zero, which equals E divided by RC plus K and E to the 0 is 1, then we know that by solving for this equation for K, we know that K is equal to minus E divided by RC. So we go ahead and put in what k now equals into this top equation. We'll have this. V0 of t equals e divided by rc 
minus E divided by RC and that's the K term that I'm replacing now um, times E to the minus TRC okay so let me go ahead and once again make some more space I won't need this anymore uh, I won't need this anymore and K equals minus okay that was the I won't need this anymore get rid of this okay so let me move this over here and if I pull out this e to the rc e minus e divided by rc term if I pull that out that'll give me v0 of t equals e rc parentheses 1 minus e to the minus trc and that's the equation for a uh, uh, zero state response to an R, a uh, rc um, uh, low pass filter and uh, let me just uh, highlight that here. That is the answer. So if you looked at, uh, at 0, t equals 0, you'd have e, you'd have e, this e right here, to 0, which is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. And so um, that times this E divided by RC term would be 0. So V of 0 equals 0, which is what it should equal. OK. That, uh, and if you check my other video, you will see that I have the 0 input response for a uh, RC low pass filter also. That uh, concludes the uh, demonstration.